You start. All right. Hey, Haley family here. Paige and Jake nominated us for the RV 10 question challenge. So here we go. Question number one, if you could change or add one thing on your RV, what would it be? Change or add one thing. I would add a better TV antenna because uh, it stinks and it's hard to watch the bug eyes. <laughs> That's it. I would add a door on the kid's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> a door on the kid's bedroom? Yeah, so you can shut him in there when it's bedtime. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> We have our own door, so that's kind of nice. All right, number two. What's something you didn't expect when you got your first RV? Mm, how much fun we would have. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. I kind of expected this to be like, I don't know. Brian grew up tent camping, and I grew up not camping. We went tent camping a, a couple times as a kid, and it mm -hmm. was a disaster every time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't expect it to change our lives, actually. I tell people that all the time. Um, it saved our summers, saved our family fun. So I didn't really expect it to do that, have mm -hmm. such an impact. Um, number three, what was the deciding factor to buy your first RV? Mm, well, it was not because it was pretty inside and out. No. Or, or dirty. No. Well, it had a lot of the stuff that we wanted. It had a bunk, had the double slides, and it was in pretty good shape. It would look pretty darn good, and the price was right. And the price was right. But yeah, I mean, we looked at a lot of newer ones just looked beat up and they were cheap and this had everything yeah it really did so it had bunk beds like we wanted for the kids it had the um, nice large living space mm -hmm. it had a decent sized bed for us it was a travel trailer all right so what's your favorite meal to cook when we're camping mm. number four mm. I kind of like the beef stew yeah, the beef stew's cool. I love to do foil packs because I feel like that's something we don't do at home. So mm -hmm. throwing either a hamburger or some like beef tips or something, onions, um, mm -hmm. some potatoes and stuff like that and fry those just on the fire. That's one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. All right, number five, what's your must-see RV destination? I want to go to Yosemite real bad, but I'll stop. Alaska's on the list too. Yeah, I think Alaska's on the bucket list, but I also feel like that unfortunately that's something that won't happen for a long time just because I think it's gonna be like a month long trip. Mm -hmm. um, which is feasible for me as a teacher. <laughs> Not so feasible for that one. <laughs> so with work, but I don't know, maybe sometime. But I think, you know, like seeing the Grand Canyon and mm -hmm. um, you know, I think some of those amazing things, like, I don't know, I can't really pick just one. Like, I, I wanna know. see the Redwoods. I wanna see I wanna do it all. the Grand Tetons. I, I wanna see. Do, they're all on the list. Everything. Like, well, I think for me, I've done so many beach vacations. I like to go and see the things that are like spectacular and you're like, how did this get here? Like those kinds of things really impress me. Mm. Um, number six, what's your favorite thing about RVing? I go first. Okay, go ahead. It brings our family together. Mm -hmm. It really lets us unwind, even if it's just a couple day weekend. Uh, really lets us kind of just check out, turn off work and go. Mm -hmm. and spend time together we, as a family. We can do 10, 12 mini vacations, which is awesome. I mean, you take yeah. one day off work, two days off work, you can have, go have a good long weekend, and then we could do uh, long trips too. And Yeah, you know. it just costs so much less. Yeah, we can afford to do it. If we just went to Florida for a week, we that's all we can mm -hmm. do if we, fly, if we flew there and then rented a car and then had a mm -hmm. hotel and then you eat junk food and you feel like yucky for a week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, um, Really, I think that's that's right up there. Number seven, what's your least favorite thing about RVing? For me, it's always packing up and coming home. Yeah, packing that's the up worst. And doing a stinky slinky in the poop and the, the thing that frustrates me the most, like the dumping the tanks and the other stuff, I know it's It's coming. really not even all that bad. No, it's not bad. The thing that frustrates me is driving in traffic and people just don't understand. We're 54 feet long. I mean, it's gonna, We're like the size of a semi. <laughs> it's going to take us time to stop and go and man, it, it's... Yeah. This, just our most just, recent trip was really frustrating because we, 
we got into a place where there was a lot of construction, so people were weaving in and out of lanes to try to avoid yeah. they, waiting. They, and they, they cut you off and slam on the brakes. It's like, whoa, yeah. And I, I got to admit, before we were RVers, I was probably one of those people because I just didn't understand. It's the mm -hmm. ignorance, you know. So, all right. So, number eight, what's a must-have on your next RV? It's going to have a motor in it. I mean... It'd be nice to have a motor. I don't know the the ability to have a driver and just you know pull off the road, get something to eat, get back on the road again. If you gotta use the bathroom, it's a quick pull off. You don't have to get everybody out of the seat, get everybody back yeah. there. I think it's it would be better for a family like ours. Yeah, because you know? we do have to get the kid. I mean, we'd still have car seats and stuff mm -hmm. like that. However, um, it I could get up and get them a sandwich real quick or something. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit easier when you're Yeah, when we have the pull off now, it's, Maybe. It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's a 45 minute ordeal to get them. You know, some of those driving campers, they pull in, like her her parents, they, they pulled in right beside us and he's already drinking a beverage and I'm still putting down my jacks. <laughs> I think some of those things being automated would be nice mm -hmm. on our next one, whether it's a driver or not. However, the more automated you have the more, more you have that could go wrong so like right now we are in control of everything so all right um number nine what's your favorite drink at camp uh, we have a good one uh, <laughs> i like a hillbilly margarita <laughs> Actually, I like a lot of things. Rum, rum is our drink of choice usually. Mm -hmm. um, any kind of rum, I'm more on like the sweet side. However, when we go camping, especially in the summer when it's hot, I like to make a container of the frozen limeade and add tequila, tequila and a little bit of water, altos in particular, mm -hmm. and put a little salt in it, and it is just like perfect mm -hmm. for me. You drink it's, like two of them, and it's just fine. Yeah, but it mm -hmm. quenches your thirst, especially. Especially, mm -hmm. <laughs> I teach math. <laughs> Especially when it's really hot outside. So that's that's my favorite. But our go-to is generally rum coke, Kraken, Kraken, and Kraken mm -hmm. rum. But I drink beer, all kinds of beer. I like IPAs, Stella. He's not supposed to. <laughs> but I still drink it. It's delicious. Yeah. So, all right. Last question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite indoor RV accessory? Oh, our coffee maker thing. We oh. have an electric kettle. So. You know, we did a fair amount of boondocking, or at least a fair amount where we did not have full hookups or anything. Mm -hmm. So the electric kettle was nice because we didn't have to go turn propane on to use the stove top. Um, we didn't have to use the microwave, which you know, that's a big electric pole. You just plug the electric kettle in, it boils water, and then we use a French press for our coffee. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's one of our favorites. And then I think changing out the shower head was another mm -hmm. one. Yeah, that was nice. That shower head we had on there was like trickle. Oh yeah, that was it was terrible. really bad. So that's anyway, it. those are the 10 RV questions. Mm -hmm. And so we wanna, we, well, we, I guess we forgot to say we were nominated by our children. Yes. <laughs> who, we will link that video yes, for Yes, and you. they were nominated by following the, the Fitches. Yeah, so who we just was, met by the yeah, way, which was, was pretty cool. really cool. Yeah, and yeah. they're local to us. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to hang out with them a little bit here mm -hmm. and there. And so we've been started following another an RV channel that has kids, um, and it's called RV Kids TV. So we're going to challenge them to do the uh, the RV questions, and yeah. we're interested to see what their answers are. Absolutely, because they've got kids too. So mm -hmm. feel free to have your kids answer if you want. Yeah, we'll link their channel down below and, and check yeah. them out. They got some cool videos. Absolutely. So we will be sure to post the questions in the comments, so that way you can just copy and paste them and answer mm -hmm. them how we did. And if, of course, as always, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we really appreciate you subscribing. Mm -hmm. And be sure to like our videos and comment. The comments really help us get to know other RVers. We mm -hmm. have found a lot of friends this way, and we've gotten to know a lot of people and gotten to see mm -hmm. all the things other people are doing, especially people with families like us or, mm -hmm. um, you know, so local people, which has been really awesome. So make sure you comment. Tell us where you're from. We'd love to get to see you. Our next video is the mooch dogging video. <laughs> it's going to be so <laughs> <laughs> so Check it out. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And we hope to see you again soon. And get out and make, uh, go out and have an adventure and make some memories. That's right. Thank you.